want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Steve O'Truck here. Sorry for the another energetic start. Wait today. <laughs> I think I know what the title of this video is going to be. Already. What a load of rubbish. Yes, that's what I think I'm going to call this, or something like that description. <laughs> and yes, that is a Coca-Cola truck. Directly in front of us. Absolutely cool looking T-Range or Scania T-Range. Cool trailer. Cool truck. In my opinion. Maybe not in others, but hey, it takes some taste, but it does look cool. <laughs> you can't deny it that, with all the LED stripping on it as well. <laughs> but that aside, that's not what this video is about, <laughs> by no means, but it just so happens to be parked up in front of stuff. I thought it was worth a shout out. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to be talking about rubbish, literally rubbish today. You know, rubbish in laybys, rubbish in truck stops. The amount of it is shocking, it's embarrassing, it's pure rubbish, why we we accept it? <laughs> Sorry for the pun, I'm really, that was a really bad pun, I know, I know, but I had to say it, I had to say it, but that aside, you know, and this is basing on holidays abroad and that, I'm not saying we're the worst, nor we are the best. But it is embarrassing nevertheless. The amount of rubbish that we have is shocking. And there's reasons why, you know, certainly in lay laybys, not all laybys have bit rubbish bins. And they're not always emptied regularly either. So that is another issue. And you can put it down to lack of funding, but I think that's a small excuse really these days. Why not to do it? But as it falls down also back down to lack of pride of the councils of the area in terms of if they like it or not, lead bites are still part of the area. And yes, I hope you admit truckers can also be the offenders in this as well. You know, I don't agree with littering whatsoever. I think truckers who do litter need to think twice what they're doing, you know. Who's going to pick that up? Somebody's got to pick it up. Or well, something's going to pick it up at the end of the day. And the other issue I have is with services. You know, litter in the truck stops and all over the services, and especially at ones that you pay a lot of money. I mean, that one was okay, but there's still a fair bit of litter about when you look around. You see it. And some of the reasons, because truck, truck drivers are brushing off the back of the trailers, not actually binning the rubbish that's on the back of the trailers that they're brushing off. I was thinking, yeah, I'll just brush it off into the back area. It won't affect nothing. It won't make it look any more un 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 ugly. The other issue is I noticed that a few services, not all, but a few of them, that bins aren't regularly emptied at all. Because I know certainly of a few off the top of the head. I'm not going to name them, but uh, you drive in and well, not guaranteed on occasion that it had they had been empty but quite regularly they'll be overflowing which you know is seriously not cool you know it, it's mind-boggling and I hope admit it's a twofold issue you know it's an issue with the people who litter need to stop littering, I don't know how you get them out. and the thing is catching them, that's another story, let alone enforcing it, you know, and that's, that's one of the major issues, is that but the other issue is the fact that if people see litter, they're more likely to litter because it makes it more acceptable in some people's minds that, oh, there's lots of litter here, so who cares if I drop this and my big effort, like anybody who's mentioned about this subject, is if there's not a bin don't litter. Take it to where you can bin it. You know, it's not cool to litter. But, equally, 
as I say, council should provide more bins and to lay boys. And I open admit, yes, there is another issue of vandalisation. But the problem is that if you don't do it for that reason, you're letting the vandals win, aren't you, at the same time? And you're probably better off trying to prosecute, you're more likely to catch a vandal over a litterer. Just as hard in a way, but you're more likely to catch them. But overall, it's no excuse for vandalism either. And in a way, that's a form of littering. But yes, again, yeah, it is a major issue with UK services and layboys and rest areas is litter. You know, it's not good. It's and I said it, it's a twofold issue that equally its drivers are doing it as well. You should know better. Not just foreigners, it's also English drivers. You know, but I hope admit foreigners are also one of the higher proportion of who are more likely to do it as well. Not saying that all foreigners do litter either. You know, I think it's probably a reasonable even bunch mixture. And it's not all just truck drivers either. You know, it's also every other road user. Also, you have fly tippers. Not cool. That really is not cool. But I do feel it is a major issue in UK litter. I think also another factor to this could be the educational side of it. That to me, it doesn't feel like it's being rammed home to kids to not to litter. And I've seen plenty of kids litter, in including in front of the parents, and that, that's not cool, you know. I remember if I did that when I was young, I would have been, oi, pick it up, put it in the bin, you know. Hey, maybe that's how I was brought up, you know, or maybe, you know, maybe I'm a rarity. <laughs> Maybe I'm mad or something. But I just feel there's, there's quite a few issues intermixed and there's no easy pill to sort this out. But if people can do the best to try and educate, try and uh, not to listen themselves, and maybe if possible, within reason, pick up some litter as well. You know, I do a bit now and again, but it, it feels like it's just losing battle all the time. I know somebody's got to pick up. It's not a pleasant job. I, I remember when my first job ever was to do uh, litter picking. You know, and that's why I have a bit of a connection into this, in a way. It's one of my first jobs I had. Well, it was my first job, or, you know, paid by another organisation, paid it from doing jobs around the house and getting a little bit extra pocket money. You know, <sighs> And yes, it is a tough one. I, you know, there was no one answer to resolve it all as a whole. You know, a lot of it is a self-education and just not self-education, but you know, being able to, like what I'm trying to do with this video, trying to promote not to litter, promote the issue, bring it up. You know, it's not an easy one. And yet, as I said, you go into truck parks, the bins are overflowing and, you know, that's failings on, on the businesses that run the truck, truck stop area or the services. You know, you're like, you should be emptying these, you know, once or twice a day at least. Or keeping on them at least, you know, at the very minimum. As soon as they have the signs overflowing, you know, collect them in. I know it involves effort, employing somebody to do it, but it has to be done. Because litter also affects the environment we live in, you know, it affects the wildlife, etc. And so on, you know, it, it just begs, begs belief at the end of the day. But, you know, things that you can do, you know, have a bin in your cab. I have a bin bag. I put my rubbish in the bin bag, actually, to do a bit of that when I stop next. Sort my rubbish out. But I don't litter, I put it into bins. As I said, I wait if the bins are full, I go to another place that has availability. Or the worst case, I take it home at the end of the week and bin it when I get home. common sense, that's one reason why I like a clean cab, 
something tidy inside. You know, you live in a nice environment then. You know, a fairly healthy environment to a degree. That's my belief anyway. Not a, you know, take it or leave it as I say. But fundamentally, just leaving rubbish on the side of the road, you know, etc, etc. You know, I've seen cases of where, you know, trucks have had blowouts and the tar fitters have just let just dumped the blown out tar on the side of the road instead of maybe taking it with them to dispose of it properly. But I've seen that happen before. Not with dealing with my case, but you know, you see him doing it. You know, you, the reason why I know that, because uh, I forgot what it was, but either way I was driving the road, saw that truck was being hanged guitar, changed out from the blowout. While I came back down the road, the exact same spot where the truck was, was the tyre. So it does go on. I know, yes, that's why the company try to save some money there, you know, on the sly. But, you know, there is professional waste as well that shouldn't be happening. But that aside, you know, what's your thoughts on litter in the UK? You know, is, it, is there something to help resolve the issue? You know, it's, it's a complex issue with many things that need to be done, you know. I said, councils need to invest a bit more money into it in terms of putting bins and clean-up crews on it. Also, money into the education system specifically to educate about littering. You know, why it's bad, why you don't do it, you know, what to do with your litter, you know. So, you know, generations are better educated about the whites and whites, you know. As I said, when I was younger, you would get a slap on the ear about it, you know. If you, if you dropped a bit of litter, even if it's something small, you'd get, oh, you picked it up, <laughs> as I said before. You're like, hey, it worked, though. It, it works. I'm not saying you should hit people or whack people to get sent into them, but, I mean, at least tell them off. Say, oi, pick that up. You know, but it is what it is. You know, it's, it's a sign of the times, sadly enough. But it is an issue. It's an issue that affects our industry, it affects everybody, this issue. You know, every road user. So yet again, I'm more welcome to see any comments, any suggestions, any ideas. I know, yes, I can't resolve the issue, but hopefully I can bring a bit more to light about the issue. I mean, there are things that I've seen done, like, uh, I think, I think uh, Vernon, his first name, European trucker. He hasn't vlogged too much of late, but he brought this issue up, and he suggests another way of doing it, is to, you know, carry some bin, bin bags and litter pick around with you. And to, you know, if you stop some lay-by, clean that lay-by. Which actually, it does have a point to a degree. Yeah, I, I can sympathise it. The only thing is I would not want to put any of that equipment in my gap, because I know it starts to smell. But I saw where he was coming from, and it's a good idea of this. So even if you can do something like that, that could help, you know, a bit of proactive, you know. And maybe that's something I need to start thinking about doing. There's a point. Maybe I should bring a litter picker out, store it in my trailer, and if I'm in the lay-by for 11 hour break, spend half an hour of it having a wander about, you know, stretch of legs, pick some rubbish up. I mean, the policy I would follow with that is if there isn't a bin in the lay-by, so I'm not going to carry everybody else's rubbish around with me, I'm not employed to, is leave it neatly in the bin bag, in obvious location in the lay-by, so when the cancer does bother, oink, you know, it's picked up for them. That is something. That is a good point, actually. You know, just remembered about that. But that aside, you know, I would like to say a massive thank you to everybody who's watched this video. You know, we've got to pull off at this services anyway because we need to grab some fuel. Even though we're not desperate, but uh, I'll rather hit this fuel bunker. We're all making good time. And, uh, you know, I would like to say a massive thank to everybody who supports the channel, who subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, think about smashing that subscribe button. It does help the channel out immensely. 
it motivates me further to create more content, to improve my content, to, you know, all the other bits and bobs, you know. Also, smash that bell icon if you want to remind me when I do post. I try to aim to release a bit of content once a week or so. I try for every week. There is the occasion where it does slip up, but it is what it is. Um, also check out my Facebook, Instagram and all the normal social media links. And yet again, I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who's watched this video. It is seriously appreciated. Let's back off, because this guy has got his hazards on. For whatever reason, maybe he's breaking down or something. No idea. So yet again, I will catch you in the next one. Over and out.